Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're looking at a toy from Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. And if you don't recognize these guys, these are vulture droids. And they made an appearance in the prequel trilogy and I believe you can actually see them in all three movies at one point or another even if it's just for a couple seconds here or there but I do believe they make an appearance in all all the prequel trilogy and as you can see this is a set of three and they do they did come together like this and they also come came with a little handle that they are all attached to and it does some little tricks I'll show you that here in a second um, first I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around so you can get a look at it from all sides but you can see there's three vulture droids actually attached to the handle and all of them do a little a little something I'll, we'll get to that in a sec but there you can see this is the handle that um, keeps them all together and it's also for flying them around with your imagination and it also fires some of the projectiles out of the vulture droids and I'll show you that here um, so when you pick this thing up here we'll show you from underneath you'll see there's three uh, triggers on here and what you do this center one here actually ejects these two off of the handle so it's as if you're flying through space da 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 and a Naboo fighter comes along and blam blows you out of the sky then you pull that trigger and these guys will actually eject off of the handle as if they've been shot down and the other two buttons on the outside actually if you look at the bottom here you'll see the two side droids actually have little pro projectile missiles that they shoot out and to shoot them while they're on this handle you just pull this trigger here and it presses the little button on the bottom of the droid and it will shoot it he'll shoot his missiles and so let me show you that real quick I'm gonna kinda turn it sideways so you can see everything work but what you're gonna do is pull this trigger here and this guy's gonna shoot out there you go and to load it back in, all you're going to do is push push it in until you hear click. There you go. And then to refire, you just pull the outside trigger. And there you go. And I'll show you the other guy does the same thing, except he's the other trigger. So you pull the other outside trigger, and he's going to shoot his missile. And there you go. And same thing, you just push it in until you hear click. So for those outside guys, these two droids on the outside, what happens when you push this center trigger here is it's actually going to eject them off. So I'll do that real quick. So suppose we're flying along and we get shot out of the sky. Oh no! Okay, that wasn't exciting as I was expecting. But you get the idea. So what's going to happen to reattach them, if you look inside here, You'll see there's a little spring, if I can get this thing to focus here. There we go. So you'll see there's a little spring, and when you pull this tr uh, trigger, it opens a little hook, and that's how it kicks the droid out. And then if you push the other button, you'll see that there's a little nub that comes up, and what that does is underneath here, you'll see there's this little tiny button and when you pull that other button it's it's actually pushing this and this is the peg that you insert into the handle there that actually grips onto the droid and so this is what they look like when they're off the, the handle and the you can still fire the projectiles when it's off it's designed to have multiple purpose so what you would do is you just when the missiles in there you just push the little button with your finger same thing you're gonna shoot the little missile but here's what they look like up close and believe it or not the wings are actually removable and what you're gonna do 
is you just pull on them and they pop off and it's just a little hole and a little peg and I'm not sure why they make that why it does that but they are removable so there you go but I mean they're very similar design unless you're looking at them up close you don't really notice it but it's a very similar design to the TIE Fighter you have the center body and the two uh, wings on the side that are vertical like that and but remember and these guys there's no pilot these are actual droids so let me see if we can get these guys to eject off of here a little better but to reinsert them you just line up everything and you push and they stay in there pretty good but you just line up and push and there you go and you can see they stay in there pretty good so that's that's good but here we go we're flying along and we get attacked and boom and that's what it does Okay, so then we have this third droid here, and he's on this extended plastic arm, clear arm, that it doesn't do anything, it's just holding him, and so none of the triggers do anything to him. So when you want to remove him, what you're going to do is just kind of pull straight up, and he pops off of there, and you can see there's a little thing on the end there that, click, that he clicks onto. And what this guy does something a little bit different. Now, if you remember, at some points in the in the movies, these guys can actually turn their wings down and and raise their heads and walk like little crabs, kinda. And this guy actually does that. So what you have to do, and it's real subtle, you may not notice it, but what you have to do is you have to pull out on the wings, and you may not see this on camera. It's really small. Ah, that's not what I was going for. But same thing, these guys are removable, you just pop them back on there. But what you're doing is you're trying to... Oh, here it is, so then you can actually see it. But what you can see is this part actually pulls out... Let me see here. This is how the... Wings are attached. And you can see, when you push it in... They kind of straighten up and then when you wanted to use the legs for walking what you're going to do is pull them straight out like that you can see it moved just a little bit if you look you'll see the top ones out and the bottom ones in and so we're going to go ahead and pull both of them out and you would do the same thing the other side you just pull out these two are out then at this point the wing actually spins and can separate just a little bit. So what you do is you cross them like that. And here, let's get this other wing back on here. Okay, so once you're in the walking position, which he is now, okay, then both of the wings are gonna swing down and you gotta kind of. It's not one to stay on there today. And it isn't the best. Yeah, let me see. The the best design toy, but you get what they're going for. They we're trying to make it so this guy can go into a walking position. But there, once you move the wings, there isn't a lot of movement in them. But in, anyway, let's move on. So the other thing you have here is this head, his head, this is the droid's head, this um, bulb part, is, it will actually stand up so it's kind of stiff but what you got to do is you pull up and back on it, there we go, and the droid's head looks forward so he can walk around. But you gotta, um, if you remember, uh, it was at the very beginning of episode one, Phantom Menace, when they um, destroy the Jedi ship in the hangar, in the background you can actually see a couple of these guys walking around like this. They're on their legs. And, you know, they're kind of supposed to walk like this. 
And yeah, once you get him in this position, he kind of the legs don't have a lot of movement. But the point gets across. And then when you're ready for him to take into flight, you would just drop the head and you just push down and you'll hear it click into position. There you go. And then the same thing with the wings. You would just swing them into position and then you push in and you guys can't really see it. It moves so little, but they're actually snapping into position. But there you go. I mean, they still have a little bit of wiggle to them, but they stay in position. But there you go. There's your vulture droid that walks. And so when you're ready to put him back on, if you look underneath, you'll see the hole for the the arm. So you just stick it in there and push, and you'll hear click. And there you go. And then, once again, we'll take these guys. We'll load the missile. And you just line the peg up with the hole and push. And you'll hear a little clicking sound. Same thing, we'll reload the missile on this guy. And stick him back in here. And there you have it. All put back together. But there they are guys, there is your three pack of Vulture Droids from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. And thanks for watching everyone. Bye.